Okay, Autocross Club of Central Oregon. These are the cars that are getting ready to run. So I thought I'd show you a little bit of the grid action right here. The, the infamous, infamous Jeffrey Fields right there. The guy's pretty, pretty good. And he's running the Hoosier Slicks. B Street prepared, Jeffrey Fields. This car looks pretty hot for real, street modified. So that means he's done some tricks for real. Here's another street modified F-Class. What the heck is this, a Honda? It's a Honda. Oh man, I'm so stoked you brought this Honda. This is the Civic? Civic, yeah. This is the Civic Street Modified F. Dude, you are gonna kill it. We'll see. I am a Honda fanboy. Me too. Thanks for bringing it. Yeah, happy to do it. So he brought it, he brought it. Listen to this GTO. This GTO right here, this is Joe Strong's GTO. Listen to that thing. Does it sound strong? Does it sound strong? There's the strong man himself. And here's Marvin. Marvin, what kind of damn car is this again? Uh, this is a modified Honda. A modified Honda? Yeah. And he's running Super Street Modified class. Man, look at that Honda. That I, And I'm a Honda fanboy. You just gotta love that. Oh, here's Ryan Butler. Ryan Butler in the 35 XP. 35 XP. What is that XP again? Now, what prepared? That's uh, X prepared. X prepared. Yeah. And that's like top of the line, right? Uh, no, I think it's close. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm You're going to sure. kill it. Anyway, yeah. this guy kills it. He runs the slicks. You know, he's in the class to do it. He's got a GoPro. Well, he's got a GoPro frame. I don't see the GoPro. He's got one in there. Oh, and look at this Cougar. Oh my God, Lincoln Mercury Inglewood, California Cougar. This puppy is old, man. This puppy is old. This is Michael Eisenberg right here. He's gonna race this damn Cougar. Well, you know, we don't really say racing, it's autocross. Michael, what year is this? It's a 1967 Mercury Cougar. Nin historic Trans Am race car. 1967 Trans Am converted Mercury Cougar. You know, you just gotta love it. You just gotta love it. You gotta love it. Oh, and here's Sean Glab's car. This is Sean's car, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, so he's running in Classic American Muscle S Class. This thing got a damn Corvette engine in it. You know, it, it's so modified. So anyway, okay, so there's a little bit, bit of grid. Oh, here's Aaron Wynn's car. Aaron! Aaron Wynn, you want to show us your motor or what? All I mean, you right. might as well. He's talking about it. <laughs> so anyway, here's Aaron Wynn, and he's going to try to get out here and win. So what have you done to this thing, dude? Uh, so we've got an EJ205 that... Louder, louder! An, an EJ205. EJ it's closed deck, fully forged internals, Garrett GT3071R turbo, 1,000cc injectors, big top mount, uh, speed density tuning, uh, targeting 20 psi, so roughly like so 360. So, what kind of wheel. horsepower do you think you're going to be pulling? 360 wheel is roughly where 360 it's 360 at. at the wheel. These guys are nuts. I'm telling you what. Well, let's see if we can find a little bit more grid action here. They're starting to stack up. This is this modified Honda. But what I'm trying to figure out about this modified Honda is that to me it looks like a Corvette. But you know, hey. What do I know? What do I know? Oh, here, here's another one over here. Stand by. Okay, getting a little more grid action. This thing right here, I was talking to the guy, Tim Bodigheimer, and he says he's had like, I don't know, eight engines in this thing, but he's had it for, I don't know, 16 years. Tim Bodigheimer, how many years have you had this car? 27. 27 years, but only nine engines. Is that right? That is correct. Nine engines, 27 years, this guy kills it. This guy, this guy is a killer in the autocross. Let's listen to this engine. Super 
prepared Camaro. This thing is crazy. It's another pretty much stock STI right here. I guess it's got some tuning on it, but the Dirty Bird! Oh my god, this hey guy buddy. this guy is crazy right here. Look at it. Look at inside this thing. I mean, oh look at I don't know how the hell it's gonna drive. There's no steering wheel on there. Oh wait, there's a steering wheel that's up there. Anyway, this thing is crazy. You know, he's you know done everything pretty much that you could possibly do in the CP deal. Uh, probably he's got a dry sump and you know all that good stuff anyway. So CP Mayhem. He's gonna be laying down some mayhem for sure. Are you scared? Well, if you're not scared, all you gotta do is get in this seat right here, and you better tighten that belt down because you're gonna scare the crap out of you right there. All right, I think that's enough grid time. I think we got pretty much, oh, wait a minute. Here's this CRX. I got to ride in this CRX once years ago. Oh, and here's Pocorny. Am I saying that right? Pocorny? Pocorny. 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 Pocorny? Yep. Pocorny, but he's not corny. He oh, is going to rip the crap out of this thing right here. This thing right here. Look at that. The tires are so fat that you can't even believe it. But in the cam class, you can run whatever damn tire and wheel you want. So I don't know what's up with that. But this CRX, I got to ride in this year's back. And this thing is super, super fast. It's uh, Overstreet Prepared, but Overstreet Prepared is not even a class anymore. But this thing kills it. I mean, this little CRX, I got to ride in this once years back. I mean, this thing will snap you, man. I mean, it pulls off some lateral G's like you would not believe. But back when I rode in it, he had uh, slicks on it, so. Now he's got the RE71s. I bet he still kills it right there. All right, catching y'all a while ago. Let's watch some racing. Okay, here we go. Here's the first car start. Here's to be Sean Glab. I don't know everybody's names here. But this is the uh, Solstice with the Corvette engine. It's pretty, it's pretty bad, oh real oh, I realize I don't have the power stabilization on hope this will stay smooth enough I'm hearing some beeping I don't know what it means Bringing it to the finish. No, oh no, that's right. They go around again today. They go around this section a second time. Oh man, that thing sounds so killer. Anyway, we're gonna get another car start here pretty soon. But so his first lap here, working it up to the finish. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, bringing it in the uh, already started, obviously in the Mercury. Michael Eisenberg getting it sideways, man. Getting it sideways in that, and then in that old Mercury, Mercury Cougar. Got it. It's got an engine. I'll tell you that, man. Sounds really good. Sounds good for real. Oh, he shifted down there. Come on, bring it back around, Michael. Oh yeah, rev it up, baby. Come on, Michael, get that sucker sideways again. Well, you know, first laps, first laps, folks. First laps, you always go easy. Oh, there he's getting sideways. So I think we've got another car about to start. It seems to be it's around this time. I'll have to figure this out. I think it's not until they come around here the second time. Somewhere around here is these. And then they start the next car. So let's come over here. Maybe we can catch Michael finishing up. There's something going on. Oh my god, 
listen to that. If there's something going on in timing, then they can't start the next car. So maybe that's what's going on. We'll just have to stand by. Stand by. Okay, we're live again. Anyway, like, I don't know, a mailman came in. And then some other people came in and some van with some kids. Anyway, we had a serious break in action. And here comes Bodig. Bodigheimer. Everybody said he had this car for 27 years. I mean, maybe he bought it when it was brand new. And he's raced the hell out of it, so that would explain why he's blown some engines. So I do believe he said in the grid talk there we were we're up to nine engines in 27 years or something. But man, I'll tell you what, it's super street. This guy has got the skills. Oh yeah, there he goes. Lap number one, but see, this is the second time around that section. So he definitely, yeah, he's laying into it harder on that second time around on that section. Come on, Timmy. Timmy, 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 Timmy. Bring it to El Panito. Oh my God. Oh, here goes Dirty Bird. Yes, I got lucky there. Normally they've been starting this next car a little bit sooner. Come on, Dirty. CP Camaro. Yeah, in my infinite wisdom, I did not bring my seat. So I'm standing. It gets tiresome. This camera's pretty heavy holding this camera, too. Well, I'll do the best I can for holding the heavy camera. You know, I've tried this before at the tripod. And it really didn't make it any easier for me because I don't have a, a big screen that I can that I can see. You know. Anyway, yeah. I don't have all that fancy. Oh my God, I'm missing my way on Burton. Oh, it looked like there was cone went flying. It looked like a cone went flying. Well, you know, they don't call them Bert, Dirty Bert for not. Oh, yeah, getting it sideways. Gotta love it, gotta love it, gotta love it. Sorry, I got one of those. Oh, I should have zoomed back. I got one of those Jericho transmissions. Anyway, you know, one of those racing transmissions. Probably only getting first and second gear in autocross, but. You know, so you just you just slam the shift to the next gear. Anyway, once you're in motion, you don't need the you don't need the clutch to continue the motion. I'm not sure who this is. Subaru. First laps, first laps, folks. Try to get a first lap. And then I'll go take a break. And I'll come back and try to get these guys again after they've, you know, oh, this is Aaron. Aaron Wynn. Is he winning? I'm winning. I'm winning. He's winning. He's winning and he don't intend. Losing again. Come on, Aaron. Bring that puppy. This guy's a Subaru tech, you know? So, if he doesn't know a Subaru, I don't know who we do we do. Oh, yeah, he got some horsepower there. That was awesome. There comes Marvin. Oh, my God. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Marvin. He was a friend of mine. And he was, oh, well, I forget the song now, but you know, you know the song. Well, this is not that Marvin, but. That is a Corvette Zio. I think it's called the Zio 6, I believe. Anyway. 
that's pretty much, you know, top of the line bat. All the bells, all the whistles, heated, cool seats, all that, you know, I mean, anyway, it's the, it's the one, it's the one. When you want to go full board. Oh, and the engine sounds so sweet. I don't know if you can hear it from here, but when she revs that puppy up, oh my god. So nice, so nice, so nice. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, here comes Butler. Okay, this is an ex-prepared soup. And I mean he's got this Subaru just totally built. Totally built, modified. I mean, he is just, this car will kill it for real. But again, first laps, you know, first laps. But in the past, watching Ryan in the Subaru, I believe he's running an XP class. You saw him in the grid. Anyway, he's often battled for top time, but we got Bodig, Bo Bodig. We got Bodigheimer here today. And if Dirty Burt stays on his queue in his CP Camaro. I don't know, there's some good challengers here. But this all-wheel drive sub with Ryan at the wheel. Yeah, he's just going easy. But smooth is fast. Fast is smooth. Come on, Ryan, bring it. Again, handheld handheld camera, so forgive me if, you know, I'm not as good as the guys on NBC and ESPN or whatever, but I'm still going to get it. So I'm going to bring it again in another super. Looks to me like he was uh, A Street, so that this one would not be as beefed up as the one you just saw. However, <laughs> does have some modifications, I do believe. I, 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 I really didn't see. Maybe he's street prepared. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't. I think he aced. Anyway, I can't read it looking at the little camera thing, but he's working it. Got the Subaru sound for real. Come on, man. Punch it, man. Hits up. Keeping it smooth. Not getting any kind of sideways. Yeah, what's into that thing? And I got Maybe it's a floater in my eye. I thought I saw a cone fly one time earlier, and then I realized... Uh, on a different drive. Anyway, I thought maybe that is just was a bird or was a floater in my eye. So listen to that thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, here goes the mini. Now, if I'm not mistaken, now this is a real mini. This is the actual older minis, not, you know, I forget what year it is, but this is the real Mini McCoy here, you know, not the, not the, the new ones, you know. So this is a pretty cool ride for real. He throws down in this Mini. Yeah, birds, yeah, birds coming across the screen for real. They disappear there, coming back around. Work that mini, baby. He's gonna work it like mini Pearl. Maybe he needs a uh, price tag in his helmet. If he had the price tag hanging off the helmet, then he would be more like mini Pearl. And you know, might make him go faster. You know, you just never know about these things. Sometimes you gotta try something different.
Bring that mini. Going to the finish. Yeehaw. Okay, we got a Subaru hatch now. Boy, I just realized. Whoa, 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 whoa. How heavy a camera can be after you're holding it up long enough. And yeah, a doggone arm can get tired. Definitely gonna have to take a break. Just trying to get these guys on their first lap without, you know, discluding somebody. Which still could happen, you know, not saying. But my, I was gonna try to get everybody. But I'll be back to get them after they've done their warm-up lap, you know, so that'll be better anyway, but well, it's all good. First laps. First laps. But see, now, first lap, but you went around that section once already, so now you gotta go faster. Come on, faster, faster. Faster, it's all right. Sometimes it feels like a metal cause my horn is built really light. When I get into the turns in the sea and on the side. Now they're starting another car sooner. Sounded like a real hot rod too. Oh, this is Joe, Joe Strong GTO standby. I'm moving. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, here he comes. Joe Strong in the GTO. Is it strong? I don't know. Follow him a little bit on the go in the GTO. I do believe that's I do believe that's what that is. Could be mistaken, but I do think that's it. One of the later model GTOs. Oh, he got some conage. Yeah, that sneak up on you there, Joe. And uh, they come around too quick for anyone to fix them. So anyway, well. Now, maybe someone could fix them real quick right now if they ran really fast, but he's coming right back around there again. Okay, there's just someone out there. Well, hope you get out of there quick. Okay, he's gotten out of the way. Come on, Joe. Oh, something happened again. Uh, you know, I don't know. But if you knock the cone out of place, then that's your fault. But if you come around the course and the cone is out of place, you can stop and say this cone is out of place and then they'll let you make a lap again. But if it was your own fault, well, man, that thing sounds cool. All right, we're gonna catch you a while ago. I'm gonna go get in my chair. I'm gonna take a break. Well, wait a minute. I was gonna take the break. And then this is a Honda Civic making his first lap and anyway yeah I was then I realized I think this guy is the last one so then after this see then I got everybody in the Honda Civic yeah there goes I can tell by the sound of the motor that it sounded like Sean again so that's Sean, then see it. Yeah, so this would be the last guy in the group right here. Oh, yeah, squealing tires in the Civic. That, that Civic's cool. She got a little hop up there. Oh, it's not Sean. I thought that was Sean. Okay, this is Chris McCorney. McCorney. So I got to get him first lap. First lap in his Cam T, I believe that's Cam Traditional Classic American Muscle Traditional. And this guy knows how to drive, man. He's another one of these guys that's really avid into this sport. And this Mustang, man, I'll tell you. They're one of them box bodies. Well, I call them box bodies. I guess they're really called box body. I do believe that's what it is. Box body, box body. And anyway, yeah, and so in his class, like I was talking about in Grid Talk, I mean, you can run whatever tire you can stuff onto that thing, I guess. 
And man, he's got the fatties, man. He's got the Yokohama Adban AO 52s on that one. Oh my goodness, and he ripped it. He often does get a little lock up at the finish. I think that's just part of his break break deal. All right, catch you a while ago. Well, okay, I lied. Okay, I keep trying to leave because I thought I had everybody on first laps, and here comes Hunter White. So, Hunter White and uh, one of those Subaru Toyota things. Forget whether his is the 86 or the, I believe his is the BRZ. Yeah, the BRZ. And I mean, I'll tell you, he's a good driver. Oh, it's howling him. And these things do really good on autocross. The thing about them, though, the joint venture between Toyota and Subaru for the BRZ and the 86. Anyway, you know, the first year they came out, I think they sold about 5,200 of them or something. And then the second year they sold maybe not even 4,000. And then the next year they only sold like 2,000 of them. So, something. So, yeah, I don't think they're going to keep making them. It seems like a losing proposition. Not many people buying them. Catch me a while ago. Well, I did not get everybody. There goes Jeffrey Fields. But I'll come back. I'll come back. And here's another one of these Miatas. And this guy 503 SM I didn't didn't get. And I didn't get Craig in the CRX and I did not get Ron. Ron Aston 77 Cam T. But uh, they'll get second lap videos or whatever then. I gotta take a break. Second lap finish from Burr. I did wait a second. But anyway, yeah, I just got a standby. those giant TV screens. started I didn't like I told you that I didn't get a few guys so I might just kind of take a standby break wait for those guys this pipe on this Subaru is louder than Catch Aaron on the finish. So we. Anyway, I don't think it's going to be too long. So I, oh, he didn't, he didn't get the brake smoke that time. That was a good sup. Until uh, I get the guys that I didn't get, you know, in this group. So this is the second group. And I do believe this is event three for ACCO. Anyway, I'll try to put that in the title. So don't listen to what I'm saying because sometimes I don't know what I'm talking about. 
But that's uh, Hunter White working his uh, FRX or whatever the heck you call that thing. And see, so there was a couple guys at the end that I didn't get a lap on. And I think this is one of them. So my goal was, you know, anyway, yeah, I wanted to get like, you know, be all inclusive and get everybody in this group at least like, you know, a lap video, you know, even if it wasn't a full lap, you know. I think this Miata here though, I think it's dual driving. Seems to me the last times I've seen this guy. So dual driving means that two people drive the same car. So sometimes that can be kind of confusing because they're running in the same group at the same time. And anyway, yeah, it, I, I can't figure that out. But so, you know, one lap it might be one guy driving and then the other lap it might be another guy driving. And you're going like, whoa, this car is hauling this time. And then the next time it's like going like, you're going, what up, you know? But anyway, that's dual driving, which is something you can do at Autocross. Okay, now I gotta get this next guy. Okay, this is Field, see? And I missed him last time. This guy's a super good autocrosser. And this is basically a Miata, but it's like, I don't know what, the MS6 or whatever. But he runs in a street prepared, I do believe. Anyway, he's running Hoosier slicks and all that. But he's very versed in autocross. And he generally kicks some pretty big A, you know. You know, a raw lap, I don't know. Maybe even maybe even raw time. Uh, raw time is usually still pretty good. And now I see when I'm zooming all the way up, I'm seeing look, maybe there's something on the lens there. And then when I say, well, anyway, hopefully whatever it is, it's not going to interfere. Come on, Jeffrey Fields. And the Mazda. Working it to the finish. This guy is good. The car's got excellent grip, and he's a very smooth driver. Okay, cannot see times here. We're not talking about, okay, times at all. So I don't know who this is down here. But this must be, obviously, because they are in grid and order. Another guy that I did not get on film for the first round. So again, the second run group for the morning. For the second run group. It appears to be, I don't know if it's a Lancer. Yeah, I think that's a Lancer Evo. I gotta see who else is coming around. It sounded like the CRX to me. And I gotta get that guy. If I, so I'm going off the Lancer. Okay, yeah, here we go. Craig Olin and his famous CRX. But Craig said he wasn't feeling good today. You know, I mean, he is like overheated and was not feeling you know, well, you know, when you're racing a race car, autocross car, anyway, you want to feel, you know, you want to feel good, you know. So if he's not doing as good today, well, boy, I'll tell you what, that car does good, though. Oh, yeah, he's working it, man. A little CRX. I believe, you know, don't, now don't bank me on this, but I, I think he's got the, uh, He's got a V16 swap in this CRX. I think that's what it is. Anyway, I know he swapped the engine. And it might be the V16. But he works the CRX, man. Listen to that. Oh, nice finish. Nice finish, Craig. And a full stop. Full stop. Folks, you know, to be technical and, you know, they can call you on it when they feel like calling you on it. When I was doing the stop and finish, and the guy told me, if you do not come to a full and complete stop within the stop cones, it's a penalty. 
And if they call you on that, that's 10 seconds. Here's Asted. So these are the guys I did. And I don't know who that is that just started. I can't look and do this at the same time. But here comes Ron and his box body. Oh, I'm sorry, not box body, fox body Mustang. Running Cam T. Bringing it for the finish. Yeah. Okay, so that is it. Ron was the last one. So I wish I would have got a little bit more lap with Ron, but that was the last one because now he is uh, out on the track is uh, Sean. I do believe where the world is. Yeah, I hear it, but I don't see it. Okay, here he comes. So he's going to have one more loop around. Call this a solstice bet. Solstice event. Anyway, the solstice event is a cardiac solstice, like you know, like, but like converted to Corvette, you know. So, oh my God, I'm getting really uh, not good on the camera. That means I'm getting tired. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so I guess we're gonna call that. A, no, let's. It's hard, but we gotta get. Eisenberg again in this in this Mercury Cougar and this thing is fixed up for you know it's a full on race and Michael Eisenberg is anyway he had a business I think he's still doing business but he made all kinds of parts for these Fords and these Mustangs to make them work on race racetrack. down there in Southern California, and then he retired O and moved up to Central Oregon O. And uh, but he's still selling some parts, I'm sure. I forget. Anyway, I talked to him. He's still doing some stuff. But I'll tell you, this is the kind of car he builds. It's like if you don't rev it up, it loads up. I mean, the thing is, you know, for autocross, I don't know. It's a full on race. Listen to that thing. Oh my God. Blah, 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 blah. Remind me of my old 65 Olds with the mid top cam. Okay, yeah, I just, sometimes it's hard to stop, but here comes Timmy. Timmy, 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 Timmy. Oh, he locks up, locks up, locks up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the flames. I saw flames come out of the pipe. <coughs> oh, cough, sorry. Didn't, don't have a cough switch and don't have a note. Shake the camera when you cough switch. Loading. Heimer. That. Bring it to the finish. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gotta love it. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Up. Anyway, and you know, you gotta love it when they bring it. Because, anyway, as far as club, Emerald Empire Sports Car Club and Central Oregon Autocross, you know, that's doable. You know, you're not driving, you know, too damn many miles, you know, depending on how early they start to check. kind of spoiled the sound of Dirty Bird, I wish that. So anyway, we're going to finish up here with Dirty Bird. CP, come on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, work it, work it. Oh, he got a car. Listen to that thing. Oh, my God. Love that car. With his Jericho transmission. Well, he installed it, but he's right back in. All right. Catching me a while ago. Autocross Club of Central Oregon. Right here, beautiful backdrops, beautiful backdrops. That's three finger jack right there. And uh, anyway, we can come around, I guess, real slow. Try to Aaron, Aaron win on the course. Come around, not even. Anyway, so this is what I call it.
call it hoodoo spirit. But that right there is a hoodoo, which is like, you know, uh, anyway, it's flat on the top, you know, and it's a big, anyway, they're called hoodoos, so. Anyway, there we are, right here in Central Oregon. I'll be back after a while. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to film the other run group. The other run group. Anyway, hopefully, I'll be able to film them if I can switch groups when I drive. So, anyway, yeah, the only car you're not going to see is me. Because that's uneventful anyway. But my in-car video, you'll see my in-car video. and. Yeah, then you'll understand. So we'll go ahead and finish up with this run group with Marvin bringing it in one more time. Get centered up on him so I get some focus. Focus, focus. Yeah, if you're hearing that beep beep, that's the guy that's got the doggone drone down below me. I thought, I didn't know what it was earlier, but it was his damn drone thing. He's making a beat really, really, really loud. Okay, catch me a while ago for the next run group. So that's it for these boys. Well, all right, we're pulling out. At least that's what she said. Hey, hey, language, language fields. What's that? Language fields. Oh, I try to keep the videos clean. No, you had no idea I was sneaking up on you for the great I didn't talk. Know. I wouldn't have said Jeffrey anything fields, with uh, an it? F or U or C or a K in it. Yeah. Je Jeffrey Fields, do you like this venue? This is a great venue, one of my favorites. <laughs> An 80 plus second course. Usually we're running like 38, 42. Oh, well you mean you do 38, 42 because you're so fast. I'm always in the 55, 60 range. <laughs> See, so maybe maybe it goes to show. In Are you mind, enjoying I'm, this or what? Enjoying it a lot. Yeah, Hoodoo is an awesome place to autocross for real. Joe Strong right there in his, his Cor I mean Corvette. <laughs> GTO. Look at this thing. Jeffrey, this is a pretty. Jeffrey, this is a pretty fancy. Pretty fancy engine. Is that all factory? Uh, no. So what it's got a cold air intake kit on it and a uh, manual boost controller, different blow-off valve, uh, it's on a standalone computer, big injectors. Yeah, so thus your class. What's that? Thus your class. Right, it has, it's B Street prepared, but that's the tires. Yeah. I could be in street touring with all this too. Oh my god. The tires anyway, are, yeah. are street prepared. Alright, catching you guys a while ago, we'll just be seeing how these people feel about this venue. Yeehaw! Are you are you enjoying the venue? I'm loving it. Have you been here to Hoodoo before? No. Bring this damn Honda again, man. I'm telling you what. Hopefully I'll be faster. And engage. Oh, it's all good. Engage that VTEC. So he got the VTEC. He got the Honda. Ryan. Ryan, how'd you do? 79.3. Oh my God! What are you trying to just embarrass me to death in my Eighth Street? No. Oh my God! I gotta these keep guys. up with these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're a tough act to beat. They you are. Know? I still yeah, got yeah. a few seconds though. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, you kick it. He kicks it. He kicks it. He's got the tires. He's got all the stuff. Here's the slow guys. Here's the slow guys. Yeah. Bert and Tim. Timmy. 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 Hey man, I got you guys. Yeah. I got you guys. I got some lappage on you. Nice. Uh, keep up. Oh, me keep up? No, no, never, <laughs> never. But anyway, uh, yeah, catching you guys a while ago. Awesome. Hey, super stoked that you guys brought it from the valley. Excellent. You We're know, glad to over be here. here in Central Oregon, we call you guys valleys. It's all right. Hey, you know what? There's no love loss. No. And I just all. love it when you guys bring it to this venue. Oh, heck yeah. Hey, you know, one day I might even make it over to your venue in the valley. You should. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But you know, it'd probably be when I could show up late, you know, and, you know, long drive. Anyway, much love, much love. July, These, we're gonna be at Willamette Pass. July, Willamette Pass, the I'm end. gonna be there. The, I am definitely, July. I got air conditioning in the HS. I'm bringing it, <laughs> okay? Yes, sirs. Yeehaw. Okay, so this is that Mini. See, this is a real Mini. 1994. It's a 94 Mini, and look, it's right-hand drive, ladies and gentlemen. Right-hand drive. 
So you got to use your damn right hand to shift. I mean, your left hand to shift. I could never do that. Oh, I know. So how do you feel about using your left hand to shift? weird yeah it would blow my mind i would become completely discombobulated the pedals are so close together that you can if you hit you can hit the clutch or the brake you never know which one you're gonna do yeah my old 89 accord they're close to that too all right catching you guys a while ago thank you enough blah blah hey you know what thanks for bringing it to central oregon uh, auto cross your other car huh yeah 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 thomas has yeah. one of those too yeah oh yeah but his is a v6 yeah, it is, because all the Accords are 8th Street if but they're stock. He said something broke down on it. Yeah, the V6 has issues. He said the clutch and the clutch master and all this stuff went wrong. He'll figure it out. Then he said something to do with the RPMs, it won't go over like 5,000. Yeah, off. yeah, the so V6. He said he was going to drive the other car today, but he sent a picture of the front wheel off and it was all screwed up. S happens. I miss Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, he's talking about another Honda fanboy, Thomas. Shouts out to you, Thomas. All right, we gotta we gotta shut this dang thing off and save some film. Okay, it's time for the afternoon group, or well, anyway, afternoon group set. But a bunch of people left, so we'll try to give you a little grid action here. It's one of these Mazda Miatas. Mazda Miata 50 STR street touring roadster. So you got modifications street touring. Sure do. Springs, coilovers, what up? Uh, just springs and shocks and uh, sway bars. Springs, shocks and sway bars, but you got some quality coilovers. No. No. Just, no. just uh, well, I mean, it's all quality stuff. It's yeah, Coney but, and Progress yeah. and Rosemary. But no corner balancing or anything? No. Well, anyway, you're the king. You're the king. I try to be. Yeah, a little, little, little grid action here. Look at that. You got the nice inky wheels. Inky makes some good wheels. I don't know about these wheels here. I don't know what nothing about these motorsport wheels. BBS. Uh, BBS? Yeah. Are those BBS? The real deal. BBS are the real deal. Yeah. So are you ready to get some? We'll, give, we'll see what it, we'll see what we can do. What are you driving here? Uh, it's an A3 uh, with uh, RS3 internals. Uh, VW. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fancy See, VW. I don't understand your lingo. <laughs> All right. Get some. Get some. Get ready. Here's Ed. Ed. They call me Fast Eddie. Fast Eddie. What the hell is the name of this? Is a Eagle Talon? This is a 1991 Eagle Talon TSI AWD. Oh my God. Two All liter. Two liter. 200 horsepower turbocharged. Get ready to get some, Ed. <laughs> Brother. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're not having fun, why did you bring it? You know, here's DS33. So, are you ready to get some DS33, Lucian? Yes. Oh my God, you got, uh, well, D Street, so no mods. No, but I'm racing against an Audi TT, though, which is. Oh, that Audi TT next door, he kills. Yeah. I mean, that's a tough, that's a tough act to follow. Yeah. Speaking of the Audi TT, here he is. This is what, a 2014 or what is it again? 2009. 2009 Audi TT, Eric here. He's ready to get some. DS, we got DS Street. I'll tell you, man, I got street class first time this year and I sucked wind. Uh, in H Street, I just did not do well. I did not do well. Here's another Subaru. SDH, Street Tour and Hatch. So this is a WRX. I forgot my hatch. Well, the thing is, the yeah, rules yeah, change. I know. I know you know, did. rules I, change, I and so yes. you know that the WRXs fall into street tour and hatch now. I know. I yeah. Filmed it. Yeah. Anyway, it's all good. Are you ready to get some? We'll see. How far did you bring it from? Ben. Oh well, you know, welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So bring it around here. Okay. Here's a. Who's this? Who's this in DSP 888? <laughs> who's this? Is this Monty? No. No. No, this is uh, Mark. Yep. Okay, Mark McFarland, right? I think so, yeah. Anyway, so this is Mark's ride. He, he helps run the club. So, the, oh, see again, look, no damn steering wheel. I don't know how the hell he's going to drive this thing, but somehow he's got a roll cage on it. Anyway, D Street prepared. D Street prepared. And who's this here? Gavin. Gavin who? Bowen. Gavin Bowen, CS, so this is C Street? Yep. 
And what kind of car is this? Uh, Mazda RX-8. Mazda RX-8, and he's going to get some, boys and girls. Let me tell you what, look at that. That is a good looking car, no doubt about that. And uh, what, up right here? I don't understand this. Okay, this is David Boyd. Where's your car, David? On the trailer with corded tires. I'll tell you what, you must know this guy really good because I have never seen anybody else drive Sean's car. Well, I let him drive the Tiger last night. Well, you know, that's when you know trust is a good thing and you got to, you know, yeah. That's autocross friends. Yeah, yeah. Well, I haven't got that good of friends to let me drive their hot-ass cars yet because, well, you know, I'm just not that good. But anyway, David, good luck. I'll, right. I'll get out here and video you lap. It's just you this time, right? Just me. Three laps. Okay, we're going to get you. Who's this over here? Van. Van. Van, uh, I forget your last name again now. Good one. Van Goodwin, uh, 409 STH, STH 409. All right. She's so fine, my 409. Sing it with me. She's so fine, my 409. You never I'm, heard that song? Oh, I'm not singing this my song. My 409. <laughs> well, I save my pennies and I save my dimes. Giddy up, giddy up, 409. Before I knew there would be a time. Giddy up, giddy up, 409. When I would buy a brand new 409. And here's uh, Dean Dean Cooper. Dean Cooper. I don't know. I think your car is too fast. I totally sucked wind today in my new uh, commandeered wife's car. But, you know, I'm going to still work on it some more. I'm going to work on it some more. I thought I'd do good. All right. Good luck to you out there, Dean. Thanks a lot. Get some, baby. Yep. Man, this is a beautiful car. This is one of these super beautiful vets. Oh my God, look at those pipes. There's four pipes, four pipes down the center. Anyway, you know, if I could hear it, I could hear it, but they're not starting up yet. Okay, so I think that does it for the grid action. And this is uh, Tom Markovich. Tom Markovich right here. He works the club. He's a member of the uh, official board of directors, etc. Okay, oh, now I see how he drives it. There is a steering wheel and he puts it on. Okay, now I gotta go out and film. Catch you guys a while ago. Good luck, Mark. Thank you. I mean, Tom Markovic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's David Boyd driving Sean Glab's car. And you know, like, oh, here comes the guy running for the cone. Well, I'll tell you what, he better boog it uh, super fast, because here comes David Boyd. You know, see, these guys known each other for years, so it's like, yeah, you want to drive my super hot rod? Yeah, go right ahead. Oh, my God. Listen to that thing. Totally nuts. Totally nuts. Totally nuts. Okay, so who's down here? Oh, this is that Mazda thing. Anyway, I gave you guys, I tried to get everybody on the grid, you know, you know, some people are okay talking on bed, and some people are like, okay, a little camera shy, but you know, if you're here, it's public information, what the heck your name is, and so just be sure that you use the same alias that you use, but actually, a lot of times you got to have a driver's license and proof of that, so... There's not a lot of big aliases up in the autocross world. So everybody's gonna get uh, just three laps in this afternoon session. I was embarrassed because they were talking four in the morning and I went and got back in the grid and I'm going, where'd everybody go? Am I like the only guy in the grid? And Sean Glabs, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean Glabs, right. Okay, I had some issues. And uh, I've never shot so much video in 4K. So the doggone memory filled up. So I've, now I've gone to the second card. It took me a while to figure out how to get all that going. So apparently it should be recording now. Here comes Dean. Smooth, smooth and fast. Anyway, uh, but my B card. My B card is not as bitching as it should be for capturing 4K. I think this is, I think this is Monty, Monty Hodge here. It's BMW. 
awesome. wor working it around. Okay, now I got the wife calling. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but just kind of ignore that. The telephone is ringing. Oh, now I got to get the uh, stabilization on for zooming. So I'll have to do that in a minute. Oh, no, it's on. Okay. Yeah. There's a different stabilization when you're shooting zoom and when you're not shooting zoom, and I'm zooming. I'm zooming for Monty here. Bringing it in the BMW. The Bavarian Motor Works, do they work or do they not work? BMW, the driver's machine, bringing it up toward the finish. Oh, nice. Got a nice sound. Oh, smoking the, smoking the tires on the brakeage. Okay, so anyway, let's see here now. Yeah, I don't know what, this must be another driver. Oh, this guy's letting somebody else drive his car because... I've seen this car go faster. You know, I don't know what class he's in, but you know, it, I think it's an S car. You know, you ever see that S car go? Yeah, the S car go. Oh, there's no numbers on that side, so I don't know. Is it an S car or is it not an S car? Is it going or is it not going? Well, he's going, he's going, he's going. Somebody else starting sounds really hot, but I'm going to stay with this guy for a minute. Oh man, I'm really not doing too well with my steadiness of the handheld. Anyway, there it is. He's finishing up. Right there. Okay, here. Oh, here's Roy. Let's follow Roy. Roy Hockett. And the Mustang, and it's uh, I believe it's F Street, so Street Class F, I do believe. Which you know, hey, I don't know. That is a uh, damn. That almost seems unfair because those things really kill it, you know. And he's killing it on the drive with the F Street. He's bringing it. Come on, Roy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's working it. So anyway, my first time today in street class, and I was very unimpressed with my performance. Okay, pan him back real quick here. I want to say this is Ian. He's got one of these Mazda Miatas. I'd like to pronounce his other name, but you know, I just don't think I can do it. But let's just leave it at the end here. In the Mazda Miata. Doing a good job, man. Well, you know, the Miatas, they do good. You know, they do do good. But of course, you gotta know how to do them good, you know. And uh, he is bringing it around. Bring him right up to the finish, second time around. Come on, come on. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice finish, nice finish. Full and complete stop. You know, folks, you're supposed to make a full and complete stop in the stop box and not a drop. Now, technically, if you don't, and you roll through it without making a full and complete stop. It's supposed to be a 10 second penalty or whatever, like missing a gate, you know? Oh, this thing, turbocharged, I can, oh, it's some kind of Audi. Maybe he put the Audi, I swore this guy was telling me it was a Volkswagen, but you know, Audi, Volkswagen, you know, yeah, pretty much the same thing when you get into the high performance arena, but maybe he's just badged the car, you know? just to confuse people like look at my VW that I have an Audi badge on so I don't know now I couldn't tell you but it's turbo you can hear that pop pop valve nice work nice work okay bringing it around for fast Eddie here this is that Talon 
all-wheel drive Eagle Talon and it's street so you know he hasn't done anything to it and so it kind of reminded me of my Accord uh, the one I drove today in street class a lot of sway but you know you just roll with the sway you know yeah I was not pleased again with my performance today whatsoever come on Ed bring it there he goes that Eagle Talon all-wheel drive, I think he was saying that thing is 200 horsepower. It sounds like someone's taking off over there in a car with a lot more horsepower than that. He just stayed with that here though for his last lap till he brings it up to the finish. Come on, Ed. Bring it, baby. Oh, I think he got a cone. I think he got a cone, but there he went. Okay, so David Boyd was bringing it up in uh, Sean's car, and they red flagged him. I guess they figured, well, dude, if you keep coming, that's going to be bad news. There goes that Mazda. I forget what kind of Mazda it is. But I've talked to this guy before, and you saw him in the grid talk. He's got, I think he was telling me he got a, you know, anyway, he's got like a, I don't want to call it a scrapyard, but if it's the right guy I'm thinking of, he's got a few of these rotary Mazdas. And, uh, anyway, yeah, he's got some of the older ones, you know. And he's been working them, but this is definitely a newer one for real. And he's just bringing it to see what he brought. That thing's pretty cool. It's a cute little car for sure. Not sure what class it runs in. But whatever class it runs in, it probably smoked me today. In my first time ever driving that 8th Street Accord. Okay, somebody else start now. Let's go over there. Subaru. You know, we see a lot of these. I mean, this is Central Oregon. And in the winter, we get plenty of snow, so... And ice. And so people like these Subarus here, you know. You know, all-wheel drive, you know. Symmetrical all-wheel drive Subaru. Does really good in the snow. And on the ice. Assuming that you have the right tires on for the season, of course which would not be the tires that you want to use for autocross but you know i have definitely when you know when i started you know i just had the the studless snow tires and it was like you know you either come to the autocross with the studless snow tires or you don't autocross so i did it not did i go fast no 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 okay somebody else starting let's fan over here let's see who this is oh this is van i believe I can't remember everybody's names, but this is a Volkswagen Golf, I would do believe. That's the 409. But she's so fine, my 409. She's so fine, my 409. Well, you know, if you knew the song, you'd know it. When I would buy a brand new 409. Four speed dual quad puzzle direction 409. Anyway, his numbers are 409. But you know, I don't think he's even old enough. But he did say he knew the song, but he wouldn't sing it. But I don't think he was even born when that song came out. You know, I don't, I don't believe so. Okay, somebody else starting out. He is a integral member of the club. Without him, you know, this stuff wouldn't happen. So I really always appreciate that. Oh man, he's working that beamer. He is working the beamer. Bavarian Motor Works. 
Bavarian Motor Works. You know, when they work, they work well. There's no doubt about that. And he's got this one. I don't even think it's street legal. Oh, man, he's shifting them gears. He's working it. Come on, Tom. Show us what it's that B BMW is made of. Is it the, really the driving machine, or are you the machine driving? I don't know. I, I get mixed up. Sounds nice. He's winding it up. He's doing good. Yeah, must be fun. Must be fun. Must be fun. Good job. Oh, nice finish. And a full complete stop. Okay, bringing it back down here. Don't know who it is. Missed the start. Oh, this is the Eric in the Audi TT. So Audi, you know, Audi TTs, you know, yeah. I mean, they're, you know, there's no denying. And they do really well. And I think his is like a 2008 or whatever. Anyway, it's an early of this generation. And it does have, you know, all the electronic dual clutch transmission and all that. We got some pretty fat tires from the factory. And I mean, he's killing it in that TT. The TT Audi. You know, the, you know why they named him the TT? I think it was literally it was after the, that race they do on the motorcycles on that island. My sister went over there and she watched one of those. I forget what the heck they call it now. Anyway, it's that island where they race around the island on the motorcycles. And uh, yeah, you die. You know, one falls through. That's it. Kind of weird, I'm not sure why they named the car after like a motorcycle race, but anyway, th there's a story about it, but I can't remember it. Come on, Dean. Oh, sweet sound, sweet sound, sweet sound. Music to my ears. Well, anyway, so I'm running on, uh, memory card now took me a while to figure out how to get it switched over so it would go to the other card and not having filmed 4k before man i mean there's like wait like uh, anyway i ran out of space in a heartbeat on the first card good thing this camera takes a couple of cards but anyway the quality of the card so i'm hoping if this works out that this second card that's in the ca that has enough quality you know for the 4k because you know okay someone's down there waving a red so i don't know what happened let's back up he's waving the red i don't know what happened okay something up here happened in the upper part of the course oh what the heck no, yeah, this this is one of our autocrossers. He had the bike rack on top, but I don't know. Maybe he broke. I don't know what happened, or whether he's an outsider that just decided he was going to drive in here and ignore the signs saying that this is closed. So, oh well, whatever it is, is well. Maybe he broke. Is there helmets on these guys? Oh yeah, these are these are the autocrossers. But something happened, so that's the drag. Hopefully their car is going to be okay. Okay, here goes Roy again. Let's let's get a lap with Roy. Roy Hockett. Roy Hockett in his. F Street Mustang. I don't know. I don't know, man. Sometimes I wonder if he's got something in his pocket of the rocket that where he's cheating, you know. But no, no, no. This guy would never cheat. I mean, you know. But anyway, yeah. So that 
The F Street Mustang. He works at Buffy. Come on, Roy. Give it to it, baby. Oh, yeah. Come on, punch it, punch it. You know, Roy's car, he doesn't have like big loud pipes on it. So you can't really hear it it's, as well. But anyway, you know, he knows what he's doing with it. I hear it from here. Now when I'm driving that stock Accord I drove today, man, I can't even hear it that much. Oh, you can hear that engine. Oh yeah, so weak, so weak. Well, here comes Ian bringing it to finish. So anyway, yeah, small group, small group for the uh, afternoon session here. Uh, because some guys went home, you know. So this is evidently an Audi. Now I'll be darned if I know what kind of, or whatever, but uh, some kind of Audi hatch. He's getting it. Got a lot of horsepower for sure. And turboed and all that deal. Oh, okay, I'm getting off view because I was not paying attention. So I'm going to come over here and catch a little fast Eddie. Where is he? Where is he? He's so fast I can't even find him. Okay, there he is going up the hill. Eagle Talon, all-wheel drive. I can't remember now if it's turbocharged or what, but I think the car is rated from the factory at like 200 horses. And uh, I'm not sure. I think he bought it when it was new, you know. So he's been driving this puppy for a long time, and he's working it like he should be. All right. Well, if you watch this video this whole time, I hope that you are kicking back and had some refreshments because this is long I mean I don't even know how long it's going to be because well I have no idea yet but this is going to be long okay, now we're going to go over here David Boyd driving Sean Glab's car again see how he can do I thought he was going to be driving his Sunbeam Alpine Tiger, but I guess, I don't know, maybe something happened to it. I'm not sure what happened. But he's getting to drive Sean's car. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He's doing a good job, man. He's doing a good job. You know, like I say, if you got to trust the hell out of somebody to let him drive his car like this, because... Anyway, yeah, that, that'd be a lot of dough right there. If you, if you miss the pro, it's going to be a lot of dough. Come on, Dave. I'm going to stay with him all the way to the finish here. I think we're going to end up calling this a cut here pretty quick. I mean, I, got, I think I got video of everybody in this group, obviously, because it's a small group. So, all right. So, anyway, yeah, you know, I made a mistake for sure. If you've ever made video, casual video, anyway, and you realize, like, you thought you were recording, and then you find out that you weren't recording at all, like you reversed your timing. So, I don't think that I got a clip that I was trying to get. So, but sometimes that happens, you know. I'm definitely not perfect. I'm trying to capture a little of this fun. And there's one guy that I think I missed. And anyway, 
Oh, yeah. So, okay. So, let's go after this guy in the TT. It's Eric. I can't pronounce his last name. It's some name that, well, I can't pronounce it. I asked him, but I forget now. But this Audi TT, yeah, they get it. They get it. Work it. Work it. Yeah. The Audi TT. So yeah, this small group. Uh, again, like I said before, because a lot of people just went home. But the idea was for me to get everybody that showed up at least to get them some vid, you know, for what it's worth. And uh, again, if you if you can hang in here this long, you are autocross not for real. Oh yeah, listen to that. You know, if you hang in here this long, you're an autocross nut. And you know, you you don't have the 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 uh, attention span of a flea. You know you. You pulled out your refreshments, your popcorn, your beer, wh whatever you do. And uh, you're relaxing, you're making music. Now we're going to bust over here. Where is he? I hear him. Okay, this is Monty, I guess, again. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, you know, yeah, we're getting a little repetitive here, for real. Well, that's how it is. Everybody's getting three laps. Of, uh, but Hodge here. Working at the very motor work. But I thought I was filming once when David Boyd was driving Sean Glab's rig. And the thing is, I think that's when I like was not recording when I thought I was recording. So I'd like to at least get that. But I probably better stop here pretty quick because I'm afraid now then if this memory card fills up because I'm shooting 4K, then I'm not even going to be able to get that. So anyway, there he goes. Hit it, Monty. Okay, so I thought I wasn't recording. And this was the guy I wanted to get before I quit. So this is going to be it. Okay, this is it. David driving Sean's solstice. Not sure what happened to his 7B Tiger, but anyway, there it is. Oh yeah, David working this solstice. Actually, this is a solstice bat. It is a solstice with a you know, one of those LS swaps. I don't know which more LS engine it is, but but it's a it, it's it's a big one. I mean, it's she got the pow pow. Come on, David. Anyway, when I first came to uh, Autocross Club of Central Oregon, this guy driving this car, he he was driving his Sunbeam Tiger. Oh yeah, yeah, and as a newbie, the sisters were laughing at that thing. Oh my god, yeah, it was nuts. Alright, alright, that's oh, this is that thing. Alright, that's a cut. Catch me a while ago. Autocross Club of Central Oregon. Hopefully, all this video came out okay in 4K. Adios, Autocross Club of Central Oregon. Look for the links, read the descriptions. Hashtag ACCO Autocross.